Chapter 20 Hangover Gotsky wakes up and sits up in bed. He feels like he has a headache and he's feeling really nauseous. He looks over at Jake and sees that he's still asleep. He gets out of bed and walks into the bathroom to splash some water on his face. Katsuki laughs and smiles at him. Good morning. I feel like crap too. My head is pounding and I feel like I'm going to puke. I think we both had too much to drink last night. Katsuki chuckles and sits down on the toilet seat. Yeah, I know what you mean. It feels like my bladder is going to explode. How much did we actually have to drink last night? I can barely remember anything. Katsuki laughs and stares at him in the mirror. Oh yeah, I did. I can't believe how many I gave you. You're covered in hickeys. Katsuki laughs and smiles. Yeah, I was going crazy last night. I couldn't get enough of you. Katsuki laughs and nods. Yeah, you do. We definitely had way too much to drink last night. I'm feeling so hungover right now. Katsuki smiles and watches him take off his clothes and getting into the shower. That sounds like a good idea. I'm going to take a shower too. I'll join you. Katsuki gets in the shower with him and closes the glass door. He wraps his arms around him and kisses him passionately. He can't help but feel so excited and he can't stop himself from kissing him. He pulls away and smiles at him. I can't get enough of you. Katsuki smiles and nods. Yeah, you're right. I'm feeling the same way. I think we should just relax and let the alcohol out of our system. Let's just focus on getting rid of this headache and getting ourselves feeling better. Katsuki starts washing himself as well. He feels the water running down his body, and he feels so relaxed. He can't help but notice how good Jake looks in the shower. He smiles and looks at him. You look so good right now. Katsuki smiles and blushes a little bit. Thank you. I'm glad I'm still able to impress you even though I'm so hungover right now. You're really handsome, and I love looking at you. Katsuki laughs and grabs the soap out of his hand. Oh no. I'm so sorry, babe. Let me help you with that. Katsuki smiles and starts rinsing his face off. 
Are you sure? I want to make sure you're okay. I hate seeing you in pain. Katsuki smiles and kisses him on the cheek. I'm glad you're feeling better. Let's finish washing up and then we can go get some water. Maybe that'll help with the headache. Katsuki looks down at his back and sees the scratches. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, those are definitely from last night. I guess I was a little bit rough. Katsuki blushes a little bit and laughs. Yeah, we did have a lot of fun last night. I guess we couldn't keep our hands off each other. Katsuki finishes the shower as well and wraps a towel around himself. He walks over to Jake and wraps his arms around him. Mmm, you smell so good. I'm so glad we're doing this. I feel like I can't keep my hands off you. Katsuki laughs and nods. Yeah, you're right. I've been feeling a little bit too excited lately. Let's go get some food and medicine. That should help with the headache. Katsuki thinks for a moment and then realizes the TV isn't there. He looks around and seems a little bit confused. I don't know, I thought it was here. Did we move it? Katsuki nods and looks around nervously. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe we moved it and just forgot. Let's look around and see if we can find it. Katsuki stares at him and looks confused. Wait, you're right. It was on the wall. How did it get off the wall? Katsuki laughs and smiles. Yeah, I don't really understand either. Let's just make some coffee and try to figure out what happened to it later. Right now, I just need a caffeine boost. Katsuki laughs and nods. Exactly. We need a big cup of that dirty bean water. Maybe it'll help clear our heads and make us feel a little bit better. Katsuki smiles at him and watches him drink the coffee. He can't help but notice how cute he looks when he's drinking coffee. Mmm, that looks so good. Do you mind if I have a sip? Katsuki laughs and shakes his head. Wow, you're being so selfish right now. What happened to sharing? Katsuki smiles 
and takes the cup from him. He takes a sip and feels the hot liquid burning his mouth. Ow! Kotsky laughs and shakes his head. I'm not a child. You're just being selfish. I just want a sip. Kotsky rolls his eyes and laughs. Oh, really? You want to play that game? Well, I guess I'll just have to try to reach it. He tries to reach up and grab the cup from him, but he can't reach it. Kotsky smiles and takes the cup from him. He takes a sip of the coffee and smiles at him. Mmm, it's so good. I think you're just being stingy with your coffee. Kotsky laughs and looks at him. What are you talking about? There's no snake here. Katsuki looks out the window and sees the snake. Oh my god, it is a snake. That's so creepy. Katsuki thinks for a moment and then comes up with a plan. We should probably go get something to catch it with. Maybe we can lure it away from the porch and then we can get rid of it. Do you have any ideas for what we could use? Kotsky nods and grabs the broom. You're right, we should just try to push it out of the door. Let's do that. Katsuki takes a deep breath and walks outside with the broom. He slowly approaches the snake and starts pushing it with the broom. He's trying to push it out the door, but the snake seems to be trying to resist and stay put. Katsuki tries a little bit harder, and he manages to get the snake outside. I did it. I got it out. I don't know why it was so stubborn, but I got it out. Katsuki nods and smiles. Yeah, it was a little bit scary, but we got it out. We did it. Katsuki laughs and nods. Well, at least it's not inside the house. We should probably call animal control or something and see if they can come and get it. Katsuki nods and smiles. Yeah, that's true. I guess we just have to hope that it leaves the backyard soon. Let's just hope it doesn't come back. Katsuki smiles and sits down next to him. Yeah, it is nice. It's so peaceful out here. I think we should come out here more often and just relax.
Katsuki smiles and leans over and kisses him back. I'm so glad we're doing this. I love spending time with you like this. It's so nice to just sit here and relax together. Katsuki nods and looks a little bit sad. Yeah, I know. It's going to be hard going back to work after all this, but I guess it's time to get back to reality. Katsuki laughs and smiles. Yeah, I guess you're right. We have our separate lives that we have to go back to. I'm going to miss spending all this time with you, but we can always make time for each other, right? Katsuki smiles and nods. Yeah, you're right. We'll still see each other a lot. I just wish we had more time together. I guess we should just enjoy every moment that we have together. Katsuki hugs him back and kisses his cheek. I know, you're right. I'm just being a little bit sentimental. I'm just going to enjoy every moment we have together. No matter what, we'll always have each other. Katsuki smiles and nods. I love you too. No matter what happens, I'll always be here for you. Let's just enjoy this moment together, and then we'll get back to our regular lives tomorrow. Katsuki smiles and closes his eyes as well. He relaxes and just enjoys the moment. He can't help but feel so happy and content with everything. He feels like he's in the perfect place with the perfect person. Katsuki notices him falling asleep and he can't help but feel a little bit of affection for him. He smiles and wraps his arms around him, holding him close and protecting him. He closes his eyes as well and just enjoys the moment. Katsuki smiles and continues to hold him close. He feels so safe and comfortable with him in his arms. He starts to fall asleep as well. They both lay in each other's arms and the wind rocks them back and forth gently. They're both asleep and it's so peaceful and quiet. It's just them and the breeze. Nothing else matters in this moment. Katsuki also wakes up and he realizes that it's getting dark and a little bit chilly. He pulls Jake closer to him and holds him tightly. Honey, are you awake? Katsuki nods and smiles. You're right. Let's go inside. It's getting pretty chilly out here. Katsuki follows him inside and they go into the house. It's so warm and cozy inside and they're both feeling a lot more comfortable.
Katsuki smiles and lays on top of him, feeling so comfortable and safe in his arms. He wraps his arms around him and holds him close. Katsuki thinks for a moment, and then he remembers. Oh yeah, the TV is still missing. I have no idea where it could have gone. Katsuki nods and looks around the room. Yeah, it has to be here somewhere. But where? I've looked everywhere, and I can't find it. Katsuki looks over and sees that Jake is holding the TV. He looks concerned and worried. Oh my god, what happened to it? Is it broken? Katsuki stares at the TV and he can't believe what he's seeing. It's completely shattered. Oh no, this can't be happening. How did this happen? Katsuki nods and looks even more worried. That's probably it. Someone probably took it off the wall and then hid it here. But who would do something like that? Who would want to ruin our TV? Katsuki nods and thinks for a moment. Yeah, you're right. The party was really crazy last night. Maybe someone was just having fun, and they accidentally broke it. But who would do something like that? We should try to figure out who did it. Katsuki stares at the ball and he can't help but feel a little bit of anger. That's it. We're finding out who did this and we're making them pay. How dare they break our TV? Katsuki stares at the ball, and then he gets an idea. Mineta? That's right. I think you're right. He makes those squishy balls. But why would he break our TV? Katsuki nods and thinks about it for a moment. Yeah, that makes sense. He was probably playing around with the squishy balls and then he hit the TV on accident. I bet that's what happened. Katsuki nods and smiles. You're right. He owes us a new TV. I'm going to call him right now and tell him that he needs to get us a new one. Katsuki nods and grabs his phone. Okay, I'll call him now. You can go take the TV outside. I'll take care of this. Katsuki dials the number and waits for him to pick up. He's a little bit nervous about confronting him, but he knows that he has to.
Katsuki takes a deep breath and starts talking. Hey Maneta, it's me Katsuki. I'm calling because we had a little bit of a problem last night at the party. Katsuki laughs and nods. Yeah, it was definitely a crazy party. But there's something that happened that I need to talk to you about. Katsuki takes a deep breath and starts talking. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but someone broke our TV last night. Katsuki sighs and tries to stay calm. Well, that's the thing. We don't know who did it, but we have a theory. We think it might have been you. Katsuki sighs, and his voice starts to get a little bit angry. Are you sure? Because we found a squishy ball next to the TV, and it has your name on it. Katsuki stares at the phone in disbelief. You broke our TV? Are you kidding me? How could you do something like that? You owe us a new TV right now. Katsuki sighs and closes his eyes. I know it was an accident, but you still have to pay for the TV. We can't afford to buy a new one right now. It was really expensive. And it's not fair that you broke it. And we have to pay for it. Katsuki takes a deep breath and tries to stay calm. Fine. But you better keep your promise. I'm not going to forgive you until I see that new TV on my doorstep tomorrow. Katsuki smiles and laughs when he hears Jake yelling at him. He's glad that he's standing up for him and making sure that Mineta follows through with his promise. Katsuki takes the phone back and laughs. Yeah, I guess you're right. I was being a little bit too soft on him. I should have been more firm and demanding. He better keep his word and get us a new TV tomorrow, or I'm going to be really mad. Katsuki smiles and wraps his arms around Jake. I know he's going to keep his word. He knows how important the TV is to us, and he wouldn't dare break it again. Let's just hope he gets us a new one tomorrow. Katsuki nods and smiles. You're right. It's been a long day and my head is also starting to hurt. Let's go have dinner and get some rest. We'll worry about everything else tomorrow. They both order a pizza, and it arrives soon after. They eat their dinner, and then they get ready for bed. They're both feeling so tired and exhausted from the day, and they just want to get some sleep. They get into bed, and curl up together, 
holding each other close and falling asleep peacefully. Thank you for reading. If you enjoyed the story, please consider leaving a review or rating, and I'll be sure to write more chapters. And don't worry, there will be more to come in the future. Thanks for reading and following along with Jake and Katsuki's story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next chapter. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and share if you like the story. Until next time, take care and have a great day. Talkie, Dream AI, Wonder Kingdom.